Where was I? That's right, I just got through comparing S and G to Gibba of Benjamin. Interesting, huh? I'm sure a lot of you already know about that. But it's really telling that it's obviously this is an urban legend. And these people, these ancient scribes just stick things in anywhere they want and call it scripture. <laughs> and people are getting killed over this. Anyway, uh, I mean, what, seven, ten centuries apart, who knows? <laughs> uh, it, uh, and of course, when they use, you know, they, they always use Sodom and Gomorrah as a polemic against any kind of debauchery. You know, um, but Gibba, I only found one mention. That's the Hosea 9 9, where it says, They have become deeply corrupt as in the days of Gibba. He will remember their guilt, he will punish their sins. And that's a heavy statement because that's part of their tribe. <laughs> it's one of their tribes. They're better to talk about a bunch of Canaanites, you know, back in the days of the patriarchs, and the same shit happens. Anyway, is this about what everybody thinks it's about? Because I don't. I think it's, um, it's about failure to show hospitality, which back then was a big deal. I mean, it still is in parts of the world, you know, uh... And, you know, failure to hospitality. Also, beware of the customs of uh, these foreign places. Like, what's up with the orgy there? What's up with all these people surrounding the house? On, I'm thinking, oh, probably a fertility rite. Probably during a certain time. The old man who's coming in from the fields, probably har harvest. You know, thanking the gods. You know, I don't know. But, you know, you're a... When in Rome, do as the Romans. <laughs> so don't be an S and G. <laughs> Not if you got a problem with that. But I have a feeling it... It was a bunch of people pissed off going, You're spoiling the ceremony, you dickheads. What are you doing here? Go back to where you come from if you don't want to do our things according to our customs. I mean, think about it. I mean, it's all this magical thinking anyway, you know, but I don't think it's really about the acts that people the same gender do, especially men which I, they're pretty much exclusively fixated on, as I've already pointed out. So it's all about fertility cults. And I guess something got lost in the translation, because this is, uh, they, I've been taking this out of context, that's what I think. Anyway, I think that's about it. Um, let's see if I said anything interesting on my blog. Yeah, it's like, you know, I'm thinking, they probably wrote these stories, like, when they got back from the Babylonian exile, and put a bunch of scrolls together and pieces of this and that, and oral tradition, and, and some of these came from different parts of the area that might have been a little isolated, and and they use the same story twice. So obviously, this is... This is folklore. It's very interesting. But, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Peace. The fuck. Out. 
have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Please chime in. Uh, nothing's being filtered or blocked. Not yet. <laughs>